Alright guys, so this week's question is, are side quests in games becoming too much filler and too much of a distraction while playing a game? That's a good question. Uh, <laughs> in some cases, yes. Like in Dragon Age, there's the, there's the pull point where you're crafting. And you go out in the world and you have to pick up the items. You have to pick all yeah, the flowers. Yeah, that, that was very And you have to get all the iron and stuff. And it takes a while. And that in itself is a little bit of a filling of time because you have to mail. You can't, like, you can send out people to get that stuff, but they come back with, like, two flowers. Did it you took them, like, 45 minutes to get Did two Did you finish flowers. that game? What? Did you finish that game? Yes. Oh, that, Multiple times. That, that's crazy. That's insane. There's so much stuff, stuff to do in that game. It's yes. never funny. It, it, like, I have, like, was it, like, a hundred some hours in it, and it, like, and I'm starting to play through like the hardest difficulty, so it's even like even harder to get stuff and yeah. to find stuff and to like kill people. It's yeah, just... I tried Dragon Age, and it wasn't my cup of tea, but it was still a great game. I still think it deserved Game of the Year. But as I digress, that game has a lot of side quests in it that I think take away from the main story yeah. itself, and I think a game in a game where it can be where it can hit the sweet spot, something like Grand Theft Auto Five, yeah. where each character has a set of own their own side quests or strangers as they call it in Grand Theft Auto 5 and you don't have to play those to continue through the story I hate when in games the side quests take away from the main story or you have to complete side quests to advance to another mission in the main story I think that's just I don't know it's forcing it on a player and it's too intrusive in that's what I like, I like I about GTA 5 like it's it's not like it's filler but like it's good filler because kind of like uh, aside from the story, but also can add to the story at the mm -hmm. same time, which I thought was fantastic. Um, so, if a side quest is like that, if it adds to the story, or even if it helps it just a little bit, I, I think it's... Yeah, and I a side quest good. shouldn't be as long as a main story. It shouldn't take you so long to finish a side quest. I think some games get ahead of themselves when it yeah. comes One to One other thing is, too, like, uh, like being repetitive like that, too. Yeah. I think that's, that's what I don't like about some side quests. Like it can be so repetitive. And it just kind of like ruins the overall taste of the yeah, whole experience. There's really. nothing more annoying than having to do the same thing over and over again. And if each time you have to go do something for a quest, there's enemies attacking you the whole time, yeah. and it's the same thing over again. Yeah, Honestly, like, I pay them no mind, and I'll just keep running away from them just to go to get <laughs> yeah. my target because I like, don't want to waste my time. And then <laughs> fetch quests where you have to just go like fetch something, bring it back. They're the worst. Uh, and right. Sunset Overdrive has those like in abundance when you first start the game. That's why that game is so slow to start off, but yeah. it's. It ended up being a good game then. Just makes the game feel long then. So yeah, like, really? quests are there. <laughs> yeah, it is kind it? of like extends the game a little bit. But shifting forward, do you think that those are like related to side quests? But what do you think about like expansion packs in which you get like a whole new story Ooh. within the current story? DLC. Yeah, DLC We're in content. Uncharted territory what do you guys now. think? Well, it depends how they do it. Like um, like for Bioshock and their like DLC for like Infinity and or Infinite. Um, I think they did a great job with that because they incorporated like. Like it was a DLC, but it was a, it was a full-on story within itself. You know, it just wasn't something just like rehashed and thrown in mm -hmm. there. It was uh, really engaging and stuff. So I, I, I've, it, I feel good about it if it's like that. Um, it was a yeah, Skyrim with a new DLC, the new like the one that gave you a whole gigantic island, just run around and gave you, gave you new resources, new missions and stuff. And the fact that Skyrim like it has the side quest and it has the main quest in it, yeah. but there's like so many. And each has their own little storyline connected to it because you could just go off randomly into a cave and this guy's like oh like my daughter's been kidnapped and then you have to go save his daughter and the daughter end up getting yeah. kidnapped by like a vampire so you have to go kill this vampire and it takes you on this like this quest it's like not and for all with the overall story but it's its story within itself which is those are the good kind of side quests when you get enthralled and you're more like interested in this quest than the main story all of a sudden and it's just like really good beginning middle and end to this whole thing now, is that like for you like when you're doing like a side quest like that like you have to go you know collect the girl but then you realize that she's been kidnapped again and then she's kidnapped <laughs> again you know <laughs> does that ever like does that ever hit you where you're just like man i knew this was gonna happen it's like i don't like did, did you ever did, really did, anything that, repetitive like that. It, it's not like that there wasn't anything yeah. specifically like that in skyrim but there was one i remember where you went in and like to this town and the town was being like raided and then like you had to go and then you found out that yeah. like this guy was a bandit was in charge so you had to go to the camp and it turned out like he was being possessed by a demon and you had to kill him because mm -hmm. he was being possessed by a demon and then you got this badass sword to So they kind of variety. Yeah, okay, right. So, okay, there's, so, there's so it was. Yeah, and getting back to expansion packs, 
I'm getting I'm staying mainstream with Grand Theft Auto. Back to Grand Theft Auto 4 when they had the Ball of Gay Tony and the Lost in Damp. That's Those a, were great. that is the that's expansions I don't mind paying for because it adds on well not necessarily adds on but it it branches out from the main yeah. story itself and it gives you it tells you a good story and it's fun and engaging because it's like it's just not you're not paying just for add-ons to the main story that may seem pointless and you're just you know oh i played this before because some expansion packs they mirror what you play already and it's just like different characters stuff like that so like that's yeah and that's that's the biggest example <laughs> i mean I'm, or or call of duty coming out with just like oh here's like four more more multiplayer well, maps we'll we'll say that we'll say that for another day that's, that's we'll save that for another day <laughs> Like um, what's it up? Bioware, with Dragon Age, they also with Mass Effect, like they have the side missions with the characters, so you yep. get crew members. And if you don't do those side missions, then you don't get that crew member, and that does affect the main story. So, I do like those kind of side quests because they have a dynamic effect on what's going on in the game. Like you do this quest and you get this crew member, and like A like happens because of that, and if you don't get them, like C happens because, of that. and it just it helps create a more dynamic story because you can go back and you can replay it and yeah. you're like oh I don't want to get that crew member because I want to see what happens and it's just it has this replayability that like side quests, side quests can create so yeah Destiny needs to take notes on that <laughs> <laughs> but. so in terms of side content would you think that it's better if it's more geared towards a story or if it's more geared towards the stuff that you can get for the story hmm. as in like weapons collectibles or unlocking even more side missions it's a tough one <laughs> well I would say if it if it continues off of the main story and or even branches out I think that's more fitting than something that's you know just something for fun or something that's just so you know, just to put more time into the game because if it's branching off the story or continue from the main story first of all it gives you an incentive to buy it and then you're falling in love with that story even more but a great example is Saints Row. How they how, how they do their uh, DLC? Well, before the crazy that they have now with their uh, <laughs> installments, mm -hmm. they used to just add missions that would add on to the story you already played, which would create a character. But I don't know. It seems like games are getting away from that these days and times. Yeah, bravely default. Like basically, what happens is like you have these these, these the main story going on, right? And then you'll have like little branching like storyline. And then if you face this boss at the end of the storyline, you get like you get to create this class. You get other classes based on the side quest. So yeah, you don't have to get these extra giving, classes. It's giving you options. It's giving you basically. options. Like yeah. oh, I don't want to face this thief because I don't really want to have one of my characters be a thief. And that's how the game works. Like if you want it, you want all the classes, you got to do all the side missions. You got to find everything. But then you don't really need side quests in games. Like. For great example is Pokemon. Pokemon doesn't have any side quests in it whatsoever. There's no like talking to someone and doing something. Like there's little ones every once in a while. Like you get an item and you go and you go find like a little hidden Easter egg where like another Pokemon is. But altogether, it's just you going around and facing the gym leaders and getting to the Pokemon League, and that's generally the story. And that's been it ever since it's been like, conceived, basically. But do you think that you lose something in kind of exploring the world if you don't have the opportunity to kind of explore it with the purpose of a side quest? No, people have created their own, like creating living decks where they collect all the Pokemon, catching all the Pokemon, like doing competitions online. There's, so there's other stuff the game can do, so you don't really need the side quest. They're adding some now with like the additional for like additional story after you defeat the Pokemon League and everything with the newest one, is Omega, Ruby, and Ultra Sapphire. There's yeah. other stuff to it. But besides that, it's basically remained the same floor formula for a very long time, and it's worked. Hmm. Are there any other? Things? Going back to like what you said about the Ballad Gate Tony stuff, like that, they mixed more weapons or like more additions and story yeah, together. They had, so like, they, I think they, they added more, that too. more weapons and more multiplayer game modes. Yeah, also. yeah. So I think if you kind of like balance the two out and add them together, I'd, but like you said, like not many games are actually doing that these days, and it's, it's a shame to see that. Because they want more money, but they want to give you less content. Yeah. So what Welcome would be the, video game the industry, ideal my balance to creating <laughs> the perfect game with the side class? What well, would it need to have to make it ideal enough? I would say, okay, I just really like the way Rockstar does their stuff. With giving each character their own, you know, custom, not custom, but their own unique side quests and some DLC that adds onto the story. I think that's the perfect sweet spot. When you just throw these fetch quests or these, you know, Oh, save your outpost uh, type of side quest. Man. It just becomes repetitive, and I lose interest. That's so, why. Uh, basically, I like, got e -bead. we want story involvement in our side quest. Basically, it, it doesn't have to tie into the main story, but it has to have a story within itself. So, like yeah. beginning, middle, and end. 
feel like it. And it can't be just like, go on and kill that camp. And it's just like, that's it. Yeah, you just need to learn how to hit the sweet spot. So enough content. It all dep depends on who the developer is. I mean, I'll go yeah. back to that too. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, that just about wraps it up. So thank you guys. No problem. Yeah.